My name is Haroldo Matos de Lemos. I'm the vice chair of the ISO TC207, and I'm the head of the Brazilian delegation. Uh, I have been involved in the work of ISO directly since 1999, when I became the head of the group of the ABNT, which is the standard Brazilian. Um, and, uh, but be much before that, uh, as soon as this group started to work in 1994, uh, at that time I was with the Minister of Environment, the Secretary for Environment in Brazil, and we decided that it would be very much important for Brazil and for all developing countries to follow the development of those standards. Uh, Brazil had not followed uh, closely the development of the ISO 9000, and uh, we regret that this had happened. So in this time, since the very beginning, Brazil is very active and uh, it's very important for all developing countries to participate in the standards development uh, so that they can bring the problems and, uh, and discuss uh, how best uh, we can have the standards to, for the whole of, of our planet. What, what is the biggest issues for, for the developing countries and Brazil in particular? in this uh, matter? Well, one of the main problems is that, uh, uh, for instance, inside of the ISO TC 207, we have, uh, we have seven main groups, uh, environmental management, environmental labeling, uh, life cycle assessment, uh, climate change, and so on. And uh, so in these meetings, we must have a delegation of at least five, six, seven people to be able to follow all the meetings. And for developing countries, this is a good problem, a big problem, uh, the resource constraint uh, to be able to send the people outside uh, in, uh, in addition to discussing in, uh, inside of the country the development of, of, of the standards, to be able to send our technicians, our people to, for the international meetings and to discuss with everybody the development of the standards. Is That's it, one of the main problems. Is it more because of the lack of understanding or money uh, well, when it comes to, uh, to follow these programs? Yeah. I would say that very small countries, very small developing countries with uh, almost no industry, they are not very much interested in this kind of development. But developing countries that have industry, that are in the process of industrialization, they really need to, to follow, they are aware of the importance of the standards. The main problem is here, uh, resources uh, for them to be able to send their technicians to, to the meet international meetings, okay? Uh, that, that's, that's my view. Is it difficult to get the industry in Brazil to, uh, to and, and participate in this kind of uh, programs? No. Uh, for instance, we have here, uh, the, for this meeting, our delegation, uh, uh, myself and plus six technicians, all of them, they are coming from industry, but, but one that comes from an NGO. So uh, industry is very aware and they are really cooperating and using their resources to send their people uh, for, for those meetings.